If Subaru were a surfer dude, then it'd be riding the crest of a very big wave. And the 2019 Forester would likely keep it there. The redesigned compact crossover sport utility vehicle, now in its fourth generation, arrives with more streamlined and sophisticated styling, as well as a host of new features. Built on a new global platform that also underpins the Ascend, Impreza, and Crosstrek, the Forester delivers improved access for passengers and cargo, a new engine and transmission combination with automatic idle stop-start for improved fuel economy, additional safety measures, and standard all-wheel drive. Except for the company's rear-drive BRZ Sports Coupe, developed with Toyota, all Subaru cars and crossover SUVs put the power to the ground with all four wheels. The Forester doesn't have the off-road credentials of other vehicles. But it can handle foul weather conditions and moderately challenging terrain, especially on versions with X mode, which includes hill descent control. Five trim levels are available, starting with the base $25,270, followed by the premium $27,070, new sport $29,770, Limited $31,770, and Touring $35,270. Prices include the destination charge $975. All Foresters come with Subaru's iSight Driver Assist technology, which includes pre-collision throttle management and braking, adaptive cruise control, and lane keeping assist with lane departure and sway warning. The tested sport model came with a $2,045 option package that included blind spot detection, rear cross traffic alert, reverse automatic braking, and a power rear tailgate with push button closing and adjustable open height. The package also included Subaru's Starlink infotainment system with an 8-inch touchscreen, premium Harman Kardon audio, Bluetooth connectivity, Apple CarPlay and Android Auto and SXM satellite radio. It brought the sport's bottom line price to $31,815. Power surges from a newly engineered 2.5-liter horizontally post four-cylinder engine that makes 182 horsepower and 176 pounds FT of torque with city highway combined fuel consumption of 26-3329 miles to the gallon. It is mated to Subaru's Linearitronic Continuously Variable Automatic Transmission. CVTs ordinarily multiply torque seamlessly without shift points. However, on the Forester Sport, the CVT incorporates a computer-generated 7-speed manual shift mode with paddle shifters on the steering wheel. Under hard acceleration in automatic mode, it also mimics a conventional automatic subshifts. The Forester is equipped with a system called SI Drive that allows the driver to select throttle characteristics for fuel economy intelligent or maximum performance sport, called Sport Sharp on the Sport Trim. The horizontally opposed engine, also called a boxer or flat engine, has cylinders that lie supine, feet to feet, on both sides of the crankshaft instead of standing upright or leaning as with an inline or V configuration. Its low profile results in a lower center of gravity, which contributes to more secure road holding and handling. As a vehicle that is oriented towards small families and adventuresome singles, the new Forester is designed to be both practical and comfortable. The rear doors are wider than before and swing open nearly 90 degrees for adults to easily step in. Also, the cargo area, with 33 cubic feet of space, has an opening more than 43 inches wide and 32 inches high for ease of loading large objects. Fold the rear seat backs flat and the space expands to 71 cubic feet. Though not a razor, the Forester sports suspension tuning and performance-oriented wheels and tires, aided by brake engaged torque vectoring, enhance handling on curving roads. At highway speeds, it tracks true and is quiet except for some intrusion of engine noise under hard acceleration. The ride is compliant on all but the roughest roads and the Sport comes with supportive front seats upholstered in sturdy and comfortable cloth. One caution to note, if the driver inadvertently shuts down the engine with the transmission in drive, the Forester will roll away. If that happens on many other vehicles, 
the transmission automatically shifts to park. Even at that, the Forester is a highly desirable vehicle and a staunch competitor in the compact crossover class. Since its introduction in 1997, it has totaled sales of 1.8 million, with many owners keeping them beyond expected trade-in times. As a company, Subaru has been uncommonly successful, one of a few manufacturers that thrived despite the recession of a decade ago. In the last nearly seven years, it has had 81 consecutive months of year-over-year -year sales growth. Subaru is having a good year. It's already having trouble meeting demand for its newly refreshed Forester, and the Crosstrek is selling like gangbusters. Despite that, people are still clamoring for more power in those models, pining for the days of the Forester XT and its turbocharged. Subaru is giving its recently revealed legacy a hairdryer under the hood, so why no turbo love for Forester and Crosstrek? During an interview with Motor Trend at the recent Chicago Auto Show, Subaru NA's president Tom Dowell's statement that, they're already too popular. By Dahl's reckoning, adding the performance that people are wanting to cars that they're already buying will make the vehicles even harder to get at a dealer. It may sound weird for an automaker to actively avoid selling the most cars it can, but don't forget that in the grand scheme of things, Subaru is a small car company. During his interview, Gall didn't shut down the idea of turbo models altogether, instead opting to leave the possibility open if interest in the basic models wanes and they need to juice up sales. So, if you want a practical but turbocharged Subaru, buy a legacy or start convincing people not to buy the cars as is. Good luck with that. Subaru brought the Levor GT Hot Hatch to Europe, Japan and Australia but now the Japanese automaker has to dial back power in the European spec model because they aren't selling enough of them. Subaru Corporation just unveiled a new Levor 5-door hatchback model at the Geneva Motor Show and they are dropping the hotter 1.6-liter turbo trim because Europeans won't buy the hot model. Tour John Lilred, development director for IM Group, the UK Subaru importer says, we made a misstep with the Levorg and made it too extreme too sporty. It just wasn't right for our customers. The sporty Levorg GT models with the 1.6-liter horizontally opposed direct injection turbo did engine produce 168 horsepower and 184 pounds FT torque. The Levorg 1.6 GT accelerates from 0 to 62 mph in 8.9 seconds and uses a firmer suspension for quicker response in the corners. But Europeans aren't buying enough of the hot hatches. According to the report, Subaru only sold 90 Levor GT models across all of Europe in January. Subaru decided to axe the Levor 1.6-liter turbo trim in favor of a milder 2.0-liter naturally aspirated model producing less power. The Tamer model will also get a more comfortable suspension. Lil Rid said, the combination of that turbo engine and the firm suspension has been a real turn-off for customers. Of course the milder 2020 Levor 2.0 will come standard with Subaru's symmetrical all-wheel drive system still making it the ideal sports tour in all weather conditions. Subaru set a new higher quality interior, along with the retuned and comfort-oriented suspension and the 2.0-liter naturally aspirated boxer engine with a more relaxed power delivery are the three key changes they made to the milder Levorg. Maybe Subaru should ship the remaining Levorg GT 1.6-liter turbo models to the US, where they would be snatched up quickly by performance enthusiasts. Subaru fans in the US have been asking for a hot hatch ever since Subaru dropped the WRX STI 5-door.